Hey, you're watching Swerve on YouTube and today I want to show you how to make a gradient effect for a photo. So this effect could be used for thumbnails, websites and stuff like that. So I saw this effect used on Spotify quite a lot and other websites as well. So all you need to do is go to your adjustment layers, go to a gradient map and you're pretty much done. But in this stage, what you can do is create some presets and it's always good to know that the darker color represents the shadow and the lighter color represents the highlights. So if I was to change this to a hot pink, like so, and change the highlight color to a bright yellow. And now it's looking perfect. So how about we spice things up? So let's say we wanted to create a draft for a website. We would simply go over to the crop tool and we would extend it. So we're going to create some margins holding alt and drag out like so. And we're going to do the same above as well. And if you haven't noticed, you'll see that the gradient map is bleeding on the other layers and we don't want that. So we're going to press alt and go in between the image layer and the gradient map. And we're just going to press and click. And what that's going to do is basically restrict the gradient map to just the image. So now we can change the background color to a dark black. If you don't know how to get a quick background, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go to the adjustment layers and choose solid color. Pretty simple. So um, from this point, I think we need to stretch out the cropping a bit more. So I'm going to hold alt and drag this up a bit more and click OK. All right, that's perfect. So from this point, we can now move on to the next stage, which would be to add our effect and stuff like that. So stay tuned. All right, so before we create the effect, what we need to do is create a few guidelines and to get your guidelines, all you need to do is press Control R and you should have them on the side. So I'm just going to select my image and go over like that and just go around doing the same thing. Perfect. So this is going to make it easy for us to create our effect and to create the effect, all we need to do is create a duplicate of the image, control J and with our main layer selected, what we're going to do is get our pen tool and we're just going to go over the image and create a goo kind of effect. All right. So it's always good to start low like that. And go around. Like so. All right, so I'm going to go around like this. Keep some areas smooth and wavy and then create another drip. All right, I really like that. Really like that a lot. Perfect. All right, so from this stage, we can just go around like so. And we can press control, select this thumbnail, go to our main image, and we can go to the mask tool up below and hold alt and click. So from this stage, what we've basically done is create a drip kind of effect. So this could be a kind of welcome screen for a honey website. All right, so we can hide it or delete it. So I'm going to delete it. And what I'm going to do is go to the image layer below and we need to add a black and white filter to it. So I'm just going to go down to black and white and I'm going to make sure it's clipped in between. So hold alt and clip. Perfect. And we can change the color of the image or the opacity down to around, let's say 35. 
and I'm going to take a look at the navigator screen just to see how it will look from a distance and I really like how it's turning out. So I guess the only thing we can do now is add some text and see how it looks in form of a website. So I'm just going to go to the first layer, make a new layer above and I'm going to make a text layer and call it honey. All right, perfect. So I'm not sure if you guys have heard of the brand Honey. It's kind of a skate brand. They've got really awesome clothing. And this is kind of my rendition of how their website would look like if I were to make it. And in my opinion, I think it looks pretty fresh. Um, let's see. I'm going to get another text. And I'm going to add some navigation menus like home and just by doing this we could just hold alt make a new layer alt drag alt drag and i'm going to change the second one to store the third one to um video or videos and the last one to contact just keeping it simple and i'm going to spread it out a bit more so i'm going to move home somewhere around here store with home move around and we can select the text and what we can do is select this option here and it should level it out all right so i'm just going to reduce the size Perfect. That's looking really nice. All right, so I'm gonna add some welcome text around here. Welcome to the buzz. All right, so welcome. And a new layer below to the buzz. Just a little pun. I like how it's looking. It's looking really nice. Kind of feel like redoing my website now. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the buzz featuring Pharrell. All right, so um, I found an awesome trick or an awesome trick. And basically all you do is create a um, text box and I never knew that Photoshop had lorem epsom but it kind of does so if you go to type and go to paste lorem epsom it should paste in some text some random text that people use on websites if they don't know what to type in or just want to create a draft like we're doing so I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to change the weight to um, a thin. All right, so thin text and I'm going to change the size to around 12. All right, perfect. In fact, let's increase the size to around, let's say 18. All right, perfect. That is looking great. So the website is looking really nice and using this effect, I think it turned out pretty well. So um, this is the end of our tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in another video.